Professor. Good afternoon. It's really our honor to have you here to discuss the topic of choice, together with some observation into the different living experience in U.S. and China. Well, to be honest, there are many, many differences, <laughs> both in terms of hardware, like campus facilities, mm -hmm. as well as uh, pedagogical approaches to graduate seminars, etc. What really matters, of course, for graduate education is uh, the software, the faculties you have, the way that they teach their courses. One crucial difference is that in the U.S., the graduate courses are seminars, and seminars mean that you really are supposed to actively participate in classroom discussions. And so the professors, you know, they often they play a role as a facilitator of discussion rather than a lecture. So this, uh, this uh, I want to highlight this uh, being critical. In China, the tradition is that you have to defer to your professors. And so like, even if you have uh, doubts, you would uh, be better off you know, hiding your own real thoughts. Whereas in the US, this is completely different. People will truly welcome you to criticize their works, you know, to offer constructive suggestions about the way that you know, they can improve their research. So that's a crucial difference. This kind of a, a culture of research is quite different. China is becoming really the world's biggest land of opportunities. And I, you know, if I may, I can describe China today is very much like in the United States of America in the late 19th century and early 20th century. This is an age of ambition. This is a country where you know, your widest ambition could turn into reality. So that's why many Chinese students, you, you cited the statistics, about 80% of Chinese students decided to come back to China. Mm -hmm. Because this is where you have the potential to make much more money <laughs> in a far, far less time than you, you could achieve in the United States or in Europe. So I think times are changing. And to speak in a different perspective that today the role of the Chinese diaspora is also changing. Whereas in the past, people who live, uh, Chinese who live abroad, they often think about how they can uh, assimilate into local communities. Today, many Chinese immigrants, they don't want to integrate into local communities. They want to remain culturally independent, build up their home country uh, uh, networks so that they can use that network for more business opportunities and others. You see, the role of the Chinese diaspora is also changing. It's changing.